Hello everyone, welcome back to The Opulent Life. Today we will be unboxing a pair of ladies sunglasses by Ray-Ban. So here we go. Comes in this nice box direct from Ray-Ban. Sunglasses are in. Okay, what do we have inside? It's the receipt. There we go. Through the box, here are the Ray-Ban sunglasses. Comes this nice silver box with the Ray-Ban logo in red on front. And on the side, you have the specifications of what we ordered. These are the Club Masters in the Red Havana, the G15 green glass. So let's unbox them and see what they look like. Right, you have the typical Ray-Ban brown leather case. Very nice. As you know, Ray-Ban is owned by Luxottica. It offers 100% UV protection. Their glasses are known to be very, very tough, resilient, and offer a very good degree of UV protection and polarization, which is why uh, my wife chose them. So we purchased them as a result directly from Ray-Ban. Get this cleaning cloth from them. And then you have, I think, a small booklet in here. just has some information about so this is a different languages let's look at the English part still no English part I think we have to open it up further okay manufacturers information no that's what it is how to use your sunglasses limitations cleaning maintenance so all of that stuff is written on here and I can read that later. Nice cleaning cloth. We have another booklet that says the icons. Tells you about some of their you know, sunglasses, the Club Master being one of them. 1937 is when the invention of Cool. 1937 was the invention of Cool. 1986 was the year it matured. Okay, so some background on the Club Master. It's, it was more uh, popular back in the 60s and then this design just came back into fashion recently. So it's just some history. This is the, the famous aviators. You have the famous the shooter. The outdoorsman. Kind of hard to navigate this booklet with the gloves. The Wayfarer, very, very common. The Caravan. The Olympian. And the Clubmaster, and then there's some others as well in here. Okay. So that's it for the booklet. Let's see if you missed any. Nope, we did not. All right, so let's take them out now, see them for what they are. Here we go. We have the Club Master. Very nice design. They are polarized. And you have the classic Ray-Ban G15 green glass, the green lens color. They are square shaped. A little bit of round, rounding on the sides, but they're classified as square and it is acetate material on the lens on the frame itself this is the red havana color 
not sure if it's clearly visible for you guys but this is the red havana color it comes in many different options as well if you buy directly from ray-ban and then you have gold metal gold plated metal across as well and then the frame material itself is made of acetate but the color is red havana these are made in italy it's owned by the luxotica group these are the polarized versions so they offer significant uv protection as you can see already the color of the light is changing as it's hitting the lens which is a sign that it has true uv protection and we'll test it out in a second too now these are regular fitting ones uh, as you can see on the side here the model number is rb3016 clubmaster 990 forward slash 58 5121 so that just tells you the measurements Hinge to hinge, this one is 137 millimeters. The lens height is 47.6 millimeters. The bridge width is what's written here. Actually, it's not written here. It is 5519. That is one part of the model number, actually. Temple length is 145 millimeters. And it is regular fitting. You have adjustable nose pads over here. So you can adjust them as you need to. So hinge to hinge inch to hinge is 137 millimeters the lens height is 47.6 millimeters bridge width is 19 millimeters classified as 5519 uh, but yeah and the temple length which is this is 145 millimeters these glasses are an icon of culture there are they are very, very famous and recently they started to pick back up they are very popular amongst ladies uh, Although I do see men wearing them a, a lot, but uh, typically I see women wearing these the most. And they are a very classic design uh, and they look really nice when you wear them. They're timeless, very retro, very chic. And now what does polarized mean? The po meaning of polarized is that it eliminates glare, increases clarity and enhances contrast when you're wearing them. It's available in many different options this one being the red havana you have many different combinations in case you don't like the red havana you can go for the polished tortoise on gold you can go for the polished havana you can go for polished black on gold you could also go for the polished black version polished black or you could go for the polished gray on black and the lens options are instead of green you can get brown or gray in case you don't want the green and the gray being dark gray. On the Ray-Ban website, you can customize the fit. You can even add prescription lenses if you need to, which is an excellent option. Not very few manufacturers offer this aside from Persol, Oakley, and Ray-Ban. I can't think of any others that offer this uh, option directly from the manufacturer. For other brands such as Tom Ford's, or if you go for any other luxury brand like Prada, Burberry, Versace, uh, you have to go with the acetate glass that they provide you. If you need a prescription lens like I do or my wife does, you would need to get go to like a lens crafter or Pearl Vision and they would have to add their own glass, which is like a Chrysal or some other third party lens that would have to be added onto the frame. It would not come directly from the company. So Ray-Ban is the one that offers that option. And if you need prescription sunglasses, I highly recommend them. I'll be showing you a sunglass that I am using right now from Tom Ford and do a side-by-side -side comparison with uh, a Ray-Ban that I've had for many years with the Ray-Ban Rocks uh, polarized glass. So yeah, that's a good option. And you can do all of this on their website. You can try out many different fits and you can customize the fit if you need to as well depending on what you need they have the club master in the mega club master version there is a club master fleck version uh they have a smaller size version as well so they offer many different sizes and it will there's never going to be a ray-ban that is not going to fit you well they have several options and one of these is bound to uh, be a perfect match for what you need do check this out on the Amazon store link that I have below in the description. Uh, it is an associate link that I have. So if you purchase from there, I get a small commission. However, uh, I do encourage you to try these out in the store. If you like them, then uh, decide to purchase them. 
then you can go to Amazon. You can click the link in the description below. It'll take you straight to the Club Masters and you can purchase them uh, from there. And uh, full disclosure, I like I said, I do get a small commission. However, I do encourage you to shop around and look at uh, many different websites, wherever you get the best deal, go for it. But if Amazon is the best one, then uh, by all means, go for that. And yeah, but definitely don't buy sunglasses online without trying them on first, because you don't know if they're gonna fit you nicely or not. However, you can buy them and return them if you feel that they are not a good fit. Uh, Ray-Ban does offer this, that if you buy them online, if you, for any reason you don't like them, you can return them in the store. Uh, but before you do that, try not to uh, do too many buy and sells. But before you do that, go to a sunglass set, go to a lens crafter, try on many different frames, see the one you like, and then uh, shop for it online. And if you need prescriptions, uh, use uh, their website as well. So that's a brief little review of the Ray-Ban Club Masters. Let's do a neat little test to see if these Club Masters are what they are worth, if they can actually do UV protection the way they're advertised for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the Club Masters here. I have my watch, which is the Pagani design. And as you know, it does have a loom function. Right now it is completely discharged, so no loom is visible. I'm going to place this over here. Now this is not a perfect test, but it'll give us some idea. I'm gonna put this over here. And as I showed you guys my new UV torch, I'm going to blast UV light over here and see if it can block and prevent charging off the watch loom. So here we go, turn it on. Now here, it is very, very close by. So if it does not offer UV protection, it should be able to charge the watch. And you can see no charging at all. Now, if we turn this off, remove the glass and blast it again, you can see immediately it lights up immediately lights up and it's all charged up so you can see that uv protection is certainly valid in this case the frame is constructed very well i can feel it to be super solid and yeah you have the red havana color is really really striking you can look at the hinge they are very very nice quality with gold accents both sides and then you have gold accents all the way across the bottom and remember we were talking about the 5121 so that's written on the nose bridge over here as the measurement so yeah on the sides again you have the gold accent over here over here as well it doesn't say ray on the sides but it does say it on the glass and as you can see it has the p written on it which means that this is the polarized version